What's up world, it's Bronson Blair of To Be Caribbean with another edition of Caribbean Music Spotlight. Today we'll be speaking with the artist, songwriter, producer, and engineer, son of Denroy Morgan and the sibling of the Grammy Award winning reggae band, Morgan Heritage, Mr. MJ Morgan himself. I'm gonna be but first off, MJ, want to say thank you for coming to the show. We appreciate you yeah, and your time. I uh, heard you just dropped a new single. I actually listened to the song, liked it, saw the video, loved the chick that was in it. <laughs> uh, what was the inspiration for the song, the songwriting, the video concept, everything? Well, actually, the inspiration behind the song was basically, I was just thinking about a woman who gives a man everything he needs because every man has different things that they need you know what I mean like it's close but every man is a little bit different and to have a woman that you can play a song for and tell her that she's that woman you know what I mean that's what inspired me to write that song right okay. there you know is it on your mixtape yeah it started out on my mixtape but you're not gonna get the official version on the mixtape gotcha so so is your mixtape solely a reggae mixtape or are there other sounds that we can look forward to on it my roots definitely come from reggae, but my experiences in life and with music, you're not going to hear just the solely reggae sounds. You're going to hear a fusion of the world's music because I, I can't stick to one genre. Like, I just stick to music. If there was a genre called music, then that's my genre. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Cool. Well, would you be interested in working with different uh, artists and collaborating with them who aren't of reggae descent? Yeah, and if you, or if anyone out there goes out there and listens to my mixtape, All Eyes On Me, you would definitely hear some tracks on there that inspires me to go ahead and do a remake of those tracks. And when I mean re remade those tracks, I actually respect those artists that I took those tracks from. So um, those tracks that you know that I swiped those tracks from off of my mixtape, I would definitely appreciate if I get a chance to work with those guys in the studio but um honestly my greatest enjoyment when I'm recording music is working with my family yeah speaking of your family everybody knows of the Morgan Heritage family the infamous reggae man are you going to stick with the family brand name or are you going to branch out and try to do your own thing branch out and do my own thing well honestly I came from somewhere so me personally, I'm the type of person where I like to invest into where I came from. It makes no sense to try to build something else when you have someone who built something for you to build on top of and then you stray away from it and go build something else. Like It makes no sense, really. So the family brand is what I'm about. You know what I mean? Morgan is my name. That's why I chose the name MJ Morgan. I could have went with something else, you know what I'm saying? But I chose the name MJ Morgan because... The family is what brought me to where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. You know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't really be doing music. Honestly, I wouldn't know that I have music in me if it wasn't for my father and my brother. So, definitely, I'm re I'm going with the family brand. What process do you enjoy more? The songwriting, the recording, the singing, the video editing, or the video recording? Like, what aspect is most enjoyable? Oh, or man. performing? It's really hard to pick. But if I had to pick one. Ah oh, man, it's hard to pick. Honestly, if top I could two, pick all, two. if I could pick all, I would pick all. Uh, but if I gotta pick one, I would say the process of creating the music. Because there's a lot of times when I create the music and I listen to it a week later and I'd be like, I didn't realize that I would be able to touch people with what I said. Because I, while writing it and recording it, I didn't realize that I was saying something that would touch someone of a certain aspect until listen, listening to it a week later and then probably going through something that made me think about a certain type of person and they would appreciate that song that I just did, you know, so. All right, I'm gonna go off track. I'm a Yankee, I haven't been to Carnival yet, I've only experienced Atlanta Carnival. Uh, how was your first Atlanta Carnival experience? First Atlanta Carnival experience and only Carnival experience was something that I could say I didn't expect. I was open-minded, I wanted to have fun, and all I, <coughs> everything I was told was that I would have fun. So I came out there 
expected to have fun and I realized if, if everybody just wanted to do the same thing, have fun and enjoy the moment while we're out there listening to good music. Soca music is a good representation of carnival. <laughs> like it, it makes people move the way they're supposed to move when we're walking down the road. So mm -hmm. yeah, carnival was a great experience for me. Um, I would definitely say I would do it again because if you want to have fun, then carnival is something that you could definitely have fun at. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So. Well, uh, is there anything coming up in the future, like tour dates, performances, new EP drops, um, singles? Definitely, you guys can look out more work coming out. There's going to be more work coming out. Um, tour dates and show dates will be known in the future, so if you want to know about tour dates and show dates, just log on to the website, mjmorganim.com and subscribe and you definitely know about that but right now I'm in the I just came out as an artist my brother's been out and I've been working with him for a long time so right now what you could expect from MJ Morgan is that he's gonna put out a few more tracks maybe another project a whole project before you get to see him out there really performing and pushing music because I want to have a good amount of music that's out there known of me before I go out there and do some shows for the Gotcha. Last question. Well, I know My Girl is the single, but what would you say is your most favorite song that you like to perform? Oh, my favorite song I like to perform, even though I haven't done much performances, just so y'all know. Um, my favorite song to sing to or sing along to is actually at the moment My Girl. Because I've been putting a lot of, uh, I, put, I put a lot of work into My Girl. Um, the video is five months in the making, six months in the making actually. And after we got everything done, and we solidified and everybody was cool with it, we dropped it. And through that whole process, it became a song that, like, even though I wrote it and everything, I write a lot of songs, but mm -hmm. it became a favorite song to me because I realized the message that's in it is a song for a man to tell a woman that really I appreciate you. And I need you in my life. You yeah, know what I mean? Not a lot of music like that anymore. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's really a lot of music about no, no. I mean, full respect to anybody who's out there, but there's a lot of women out there who's not loyal. You know what I mean? Like it's real when they make songs like that. But there are a few women out there who deserve to be appreciated and looked at like a queen. You know what I mean? Those women who take that space and say I'm gonna be the woman that I'm supposed to be you know what I mean they deserve to have the song played for them you know what I mean so every man out there who got a good woman by his side definitely will play the song for her let her know she's a special woman well Mr. Morgan thank you for your time and thanks for stopping by yeah, tell the people where they can find your music Instagram Twitter any of that information how they can contact you y'all can definitely go on the internet and find me at www.mjmorganim.com um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, it's the same thing. MJ Morgan I am. So if you need to find me, you know where to find me. Well, I'm Bronson Blair with 2B Caribbean, and that was another edition of Caribbean Music Spotlight. You can find out more on our website at 2B Caribbean with a K dot com, or our Instagram 2B Caribbean, or Facebook at 2B Caribbean. You all have a blessed day. Hey, God bless. She gives it all to me, she loves me vibe, cause she am my girl. She take her place, love where me stand for. She loyal, and nothing not stop that. It no matter where she dead in the world, cause she am